Joining us now on set is Bob Olson. He is the CEO of Winnebago. Thanks for being with us, sir. Gila Boss, still with uh, us as our pleasure. guest host. So revenue slipping, uh, that wasn't primarily because of rising fuel prices. What was that attributed to? Uh, we, we had dealers restocking inventories last year, and we knew going into this quarter that we were going to have tough comps. And uh, their inventories had gotten to historic low levels, so they were getting it uh, ready, raising those inventories in anticipation of spring market last year. So now those inventories are where they need to be, so it's, it's going to be a one-to-one -one, uh, push with retail. Uh, when, when we get a retail, we'll, we'll get a get an order for another uh, vehicle. Because you you say that it's going to bounce back in this recession, you're not experiencing a similar aversion to the moving what what is it land yacht? That that's, <laughs> is that is that offensive? No, uh, I can say that. Or, yeah, you can say that. I, I mean, uh, I, I, I look at there's no aversion like it was in the '70s. No, 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 not at all, not at all. I, I think that's one of the the good things about our industry right now is that uh, there, there's uh, we've been through several recessions in the past and. Uh, Coming out of this recession, which it's, it's been a long one, uh, you know, on average we run about 13 months is an average recession. We've been in this one about 37, 38 months. And uh, so coming out of it, uh, we feel very good that there's going to be pent up demand. Uh, RVing is still cool. Uh, people, oh, yeah. people really like the RV. And, you know, campgrounds being full, both uh, national, federal, private campgrounds, all full. And uh, so we think it bodes well for, for the future of the RV industry. I am not cool at all, so I have never <laughs> been in a Winnebago, um, but Guy is much cooler than I. I'm not sure I'd that far. Be. But they are beautiful on the inside, especially Absolutely. the newer models. Absolutely. Uh, one of the questions I was, I was chatting with you about before we jumped on the air here was whether you felt the aging population here in the U.S. is going to aid your sales in the long run? Well, I think so. I, I think we've got two things going at us. Um, first of all, you know, our normal customer demographic is going to be that 55 to 65 as they get into retirement, but we're also getting to where we're, we're, we're trying to get younger families into it. You know, I, I like in our industry, uh, we're, we're memory makers, and so uh, I know my folks took me camping. Uh, now, we've got the opportunity to take our grandkids camping, uh, which I, I just purchased one, so I'm looking forward to be able to take our grandkids uh, on, on these adventures. Uh, but you know, it, it's uh, you know to be able to. Uh, go out and experience and, and get the kids off the couch. Multi-generational. Absolutely, absolutely. So, I mean, you know, between uh, towables all the way up to the land yachts, uh, you know, there, there's something there for everybody. How much does it cost to fill up one of those puppies? Well, it depends on the vehicle. I mean, you know, we've got uh, uh, diesel rear engine pushers that, you know, it, it's, it's, it's got a 100-gallon fuel tank. But then we've also got product that uh, will get 17, 18 miles per gallon. And uh, much smaller fuel tanks. So, you know, we've got uh, we've got them on both sides of the spectrum. He actually drove in from Philadelphia. Imagine if you were driving one of those. Uh, it would be tough. I think I think the cornering would be the the, the rough part. <laughs> so, but gas is probably one of your biggest concerns right now. Oil. Well, you know. We're, People always talk about gas in the, in the RV industry, and, and to be honest, uh, you know, it's a concern out there, but not a huge concern. I think the biggest issue is, is that you know, as we are, are, are going up in, in fuel price, uh, you know, people get concerned. But once we get to a plateau where it's going to be, uh, people get accustomed to what those prices are. And I'll, I'll use the European market, for example. They've been paying eight, nine dollars a gallon for years, and their industry, RV industry, is twice as big as what it is in America. So, uh, one, once you get to a plateau of, of where fuel prices are going to be, that's how it, Ross it's gets not forward. an issue. He, he actually get, he switches back and forth between his <laughs> RV and his limousine. But I digress. That's for another time. Hopefully, you come back to continue that conversation, sir. Bob Olson, CEO of Winnebago. We appreciate your time this Thank morning. Thank you. Thank you so much.